right? Do you know what you're listening to? You're listening to Thoughts of the Week. Oh, how's that? <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about Styles Linton Hutchins. Styles Linton Hutchins. He was one of the attorneys who um, Ed Johnson, who was hung off the Walnut Street Bridge. I'm going to pull up that bridge again. This is people walk on this bridge to this day in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Ed Johnson was hung on this bridge, accused of rape or of raping a white woman named Nevada Taylor. All right. There was no actual evidence and he wasn't protected in uh until trial came because a mob had come and um, grabbed him out the jail cell and the sheriff that was in charge of making sure that ed johnson was protected didn't do didn't do that job so this is how we get into styles hutchins because styles hutchins was one of the attorneys that ed johnson's father who they called skinbone had asked them if they can appeal Ed's conviction, all right? So I'm gonna pull up the picture of Styles Hutchins and we are gonna get into him, all right? So this is Styles Hutchins, okay? All right, first, Styles Hutchins is the first African-American admitted to the Georgia bar, first Chattanooga African-American admitted to a state office, all right? So y'all seeing right now the picture of Styles Hutchins. Styles Linton Hutchins was born on November 21, 1852, in Lawrenceville, Georgia. All right. His father's great talent as an artist brought much money into the home, and Hutchins was able to enjoy a good college, college education because of it. Okay. He completed his studies at Atlanta University and devoted his time to teaching until 1871. At that time, Hutchins exchanged his teaching abilities for a position as principal of the Knox Institute in Athens, Georgia. Under his expert supervision, the institute flourished, increasing to the size of 600 students and seven teachers. Okay. In 1873, Hutchins resigned from his position as principal and moved to South Carolina where he earned enough money to enter the University of Columbia, South Carolina's law department. He graduated in 1876 and was admitted to practice before the, the Supreme Court of South Carolina. He later served as a judge in that same state, but soon resigned because of the politics of the day. He then moved to Atlanta, Georgia, and demanded to be allowed to practice law there. Georgia legislator had previously passed an act requiring that lawyers from other states undergo an examination at the discretion of the presiding judge before they could practice. This way, the legislator could keep unwanted lawyers, such as men of color, AKA black men, from practicing. Hutchins fought this racial opposition for six months and was finally admitted to the bar. He went down on record as the first African-American ever to be admitted to the Georgia bar. By 1881, Hutchins had grown tired of Georgia's Georgia customs and moved to Chattanooga, Tennessee, where he, where he immediately began to practice law. Although white lawyers often refer to him as flamboyant and rebellious, he did hold the esteem and admiration of both judges and members of the bar. In 1882, Hutchins joined other African-Americans in Chattanooga in organizing and establishing the Independent Age newspaper. He served as editor of this newspaper, which was the only newspaper whose press and outfit were owned and operated entirely by African-American men in Chattanooga. In 1886, Hutchins was elected to the Tennessee legislator, Trump, uh, triumphing over one of the most popular white Democrats of that time. This election made him the first Chattanooga African-American 
admitted to a state office. He held this seat until 1888 and then resumed practicing law. In 1901, Hutchins was ordained, was ordained a minister, though he never assumed any ministerial duties. At the time this photograph was taken, he had practiced law for 30 years. The, the photo that you guys see right there on the screen. He had practiced law for 30 years and was considered the pioneer Negro lawyer of the South. Hutchins would go on to help Noah Pardon represent Ed Johnson, who I just spoke about, a young African-American male accused of raping a white woman. Styles Linton Hutchins, born November 21, 1852, died on September 7, 1950, a teacher, notary public, and Negro pioneer lawyer. All right. So that is Styles Linton Hutchins. And let me read something that's under his photograph here. You guys can see right there under his photograph. I'm going to read the little passage right there real quick. Uh, this is a 1904 photograph of attorney Styles Linton Hutchins, who was the first Chattanooga African-American admitted to a state office and the first African-American admitted to the Georgia bar. The photograph is courtesy of 1904 biography and achievements of the colored citizens of Chattanooga by J. Bliss White. All right. So that is Styles L. or Styles Linton Hutchins. I'm <laughs> 